All right, <clears throat> this is part two of the radio tutorial. And uh, as you can see, I've got the GEC open right now. The good news is making a radio station, if you've done my other tutorial on dialogue and creating dialogue for spoken NPCs uh, with lit files and using the 1.0 CS1 uh, for the Elder Scrolls, it's going to be a lot easier than that. Okay, so that's good because uh, doing doing dialogue for NPCs on Fallout can just be time consuming. Not that making a radio station isn't, but it is a lot less time consuming. All right, so um, I'm assuming that if you're interested in making a radio station, you've seen the other tutorial, uh, which is a very good tutorial. The one, the first one that I used. Um, I don't know who did it. But uh, it's one of the only radio station tutorials. One of the first tutorials um, that actually came out uh, for making a radio station. And this is my voice actor, so I'm going to pause this because he's supposed to be coming over today. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of lost track of my train of thought. Okay, so... <clears throat> like I was saying, radio is much easier to do than dialogue so uh, there are some there are some fundamental differences though to start a radio station what you're gonna do is uh, go into your object window select all all right for the filter all the way at the bottom you know click on all so that you're searching everything and then go ahead in the filter box and type in radio G all right and that'll bring up five or six items. Uh, the one you're interested in is the talking activator, which is the very top. Uh, looks like a little computer console with a little uh, text bubble. And there's only uh, six users, and there's uh, two count of it in the game. <clears throat> now, in the other tutorial, uh, it went about it a different way. I'm going to show you a quicker and easier way. Uh, and uh, a way to place your talking activator in the world without without worrying too much about uh, uh, messing up the the game or the mod. Okay, so uh, if you're familiar with editing objects and creating new forms already, this won't be a big deal. But you're going to double click on the Radio Galaxy News talking activator, and you'll see this dialog come up which you probably can't see. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and give it a new ID. In this case, um, I'm going to give it uh, the ID of AAAHS. Now let's do AAHS uh, Crow Radio Jazz. Okay. Now we have to give it a name, um, <clears throat> and since I'm not entirely sure what they want to name it, um, this is I'm doing a mod for the Commonwealth uh, mod, and right now they named the radio station We Funk, but I'm putting a lot of jazz on the station, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it. So for right now, I'm going to call it uh, We Jazz. All right. And uh, as far as the options, you're going to want to make sure radio station is checked off, as well as continuous broadcast. And uh, the rest of these, don't worry about. But click OK. And then you will get this uh, create new object, which is pretty normal if you're used to creating new objects. And it's going to ask you if you want to create a new form. Now, before you do so, uh, take note of your ID, your, your new ID that you place, because once we click OK, you're not going to see it in here because we have Radio G as a filter. So the ID is AAHS Crow Radio Jazz, or whatever your ID is. All right, so click Yes. Now, here we have our activator. Okay, so this is the cell where the radio station actually exists in the Commonwealth mod. So this is where I'm going to put my talking activator. All right. 
Now you don't want your talking activator to be seen because if you walk up to it in the game, then it'll try to talk to you like a person. And uh, except that it won't have any dialogue to say. So that's kind of weird. So we don't really want the player to um, to be experiencing that. All right, so we're gonna take this talking activator and drag it in here. And we're gonna place it somewhere you know, that is easily accessible to other modders, right? So I'm going to put it kind of close uh, to the cell, or to the uh, to the room itself, all right? And somewhere that I can get to it if I need to do some editing or whatever, all right? So, you know, just anywhere that you feel like it's easy to get to so I'll just put it on the corner like on the outside wall all right good <clears throat> all right <clears throat> so the next step is once you have your talking activator in place we're gonna go ahead and need to create a quest for it and this is like uh, for dialogue, you know, your central hub for all of your dialogue and what you're gonna, what the radio station is gonna be playing or saying or whatever. So, go to quest. You can still have Radio G in your filter. It doesn't matter because there is a quest called Radio Galaxy News. And you're gonna right click on that, create new, and then type in the name <clears throat> of your quest, which I'll just do AAHS Crow. Radio Jazz Quest. All right. For the ID. And then the quest name, I'll just call it uh, We Jazz. Because that's the name of the radio. Priority will be 55. Start game enabled, yes. Allow repeated conversation topics, yes. All right. And now we're going to click OK. That's important because if you move to any of the other tabs, it will erase your data. So you have to click OK and that'll save the quest. Um, unlike some uh, dialogue, you're going to have to assign a quest condition. And uh, to do that, it's under the Quest Data tab. Just reopen your quest and then add a new quest condition. Get is ID. And then you're going to look for the talking activator uh, for your radio station, which would be AAHS for me. Uh, where is it? Do, 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 do. We're looking for the talking activator, which is right here. There we go. AAHS Crow Radio Jazz. All right. Good. So, 